Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Libra. Will they come back? You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for March 2022. So we're going to take a look at, you know, this person that you're separated from, okay? Uh, we're going to take a look at what they've been up to, their over energies, and then we'll finish off the read to see if uh, they will come back towards you. So feel free to apply this to your own unique situation, okay? You can switch the roles if you want. Um, even though this is love focus, this could be with anybody. Okay, uh, and also keep in mind that these are general messages. T uh, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Um, share this video with someone uh, uh, if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this and leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Um, what else? Also, um, just a quick note that there is someone out there impersonating me on Instagram. So just be careful not to get scammed by this individual, okay? Um, I would never reach out to you on Instagram, you know, regarding, you know, um, you know, asking for money, asking for a reading. The only time I, that I'm reaching out to anyone is through my personal email when someone books a private personal reading with me to confirm payment, uh, time, date of the reading, platform being used. So just keep that in mind. Um, I mean, I do have Instagram. I have two pages. You know, one is list listed in the description box below and the other one is my dog, okay? So just keep that in mind. I would never reach out to you from my Instagram. The only time I'm reaching out to you is through my email when someone books a private personal reading with me, okay? So um, Libra, let's get started. Um, tell me about the person that is on Libra's mind. What has, this per uh, what has this person been up to? What are their current over energies like? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for March 2022. What does Libra need to know regarding the person that is currently on their mind? Whoa. Okay, so, uh, King of Pentacles and a Seven of Wands. Okay. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And the Four of Pentacles. Someone here could be... Um, no, that's the Three of Pentacles here. So whoever this is, this is an individual that's working really hard right now, maybe working multiple projects, okay? You know, this person could have their guard up also, or that this is a very defensive individual, okay? Let's just see what else we have here. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You could be dealing with any of those energies. You might even have those energies in your chart. Let's see, we have the moon here, Cancer, Pisces, could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. And then we have the Seven of Swords and a Two of Swords. Seven plus two is nine. So this person is not doing well. No, and I feel like this person might have trouble admitting that there is something wrong with them right now or that they're going through something. You know, I feel like this person, you know, might be in this energy of, you know, living a lie. Everything is an illusion. This person's in denial all the time. Okay, so uh, like I said, this person could be a very defensive individual if you're calling uh, um, if you're calling out on this person's behavior, what they've done, uh, this person might deflect, okay? Um, this person make, might make it look like you were doing something that you were doing it when they were the ones that were actually doing it here. So whoever this is, this is not a very honest individual, okay? Um, King of Wands, that's not the King of Wands, King of Pentacles. You know, the strength card, Leo energy, could be dealing with the Leo here. Um, whoever this is, this person's really, really, really leaning on their ego a lot, okay? So I feel like whoever this is, I feel like this is someone here who believes that they don't do anything wrong, okay? So uh, Seven of Wands here. Seven of Wands and the Four of Swords in the reverse. Um... You know, with the Four of Swords in the reverse, I feel like this person does suffer from some sort of ADHD, ADD, or OCD, or something like that, because I feel like whoever this is, 
I feel like this person might talk a million miles an hour, okay? Um, I feel like this person, you know, has trouble sitting still. Uh, and I feel like this person has a hard time paying attention, okay? Uh, three of Pentacles. Seems like this person has some sort of mental health issue going on here. We have the Chariot, Cancer Energy. It seems like this person's working really hard on something here regarding some project that they're doing regarding their work, okay? Tell me about the moon here. And, and it seems to be it seems to be moving forward for them regarding that. So I do feel like there is something great going on with this person because I do feel like this person has a really, really strong work, work ethic. But I feel like this person is not living their true authentic life, okay? Tell me about the moon. More Cancer energy, by the way. We have the Six of Swords in the reverse. This is really interesting. Uh, I do feel like we have someone here that has a hard time processing their emotions, okay? I do also feel like this person has a hard time processing what other people are telling them, perhaps in regard to their behavior here, okay? Seven of Swords. Well, Seven of Swords. Uh, we have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Libra, this is you right here. And then we have justice here. This is you right here again. So we have a king of pentacles here and a queen of swords. Let me get one for the two of swords here. See what else is going on here. All right, we have the nine of pentacles. Virgo energy, pre-empress energy here. I mean, Virgo, uh, not Virgo, uh, Libra, you could know. Or you could just know the truth about this individual here or that, you know, with the Justice card, you could be in this energy of learning your lessons and not dealing with this person anymore. You know, perhaps you're the one who's doing all this. So you could switch the roles if you want. I'm feeling like it's this Queen of Swords that's doing it. That's the interesting thing. Yeah, I mean, this King of Pentacles could be the one that's, you know, maybe blocking this Queen out, okay? Um... The interesting thing is, I feel like both of you guys might be in this energy of, like, blocking each other out, okay? So, interesting. Um, let's see what else we have here. What messages do we have for Libra regarding the person that is on their mind? Will this person come back? Will this person come back to Libra for March 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. Will this person come back to Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for March 2022. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Seems like the seems like the shoe's on the other foot because someone here is definitely experiencing some sort of karma here for perhaps dipping out on someone, abandoning someone here, okay? It seems like someone here walked out on someone. And I feel like someone here might be realizing that's probably one of the worst decisions they've ever made because right now someone here is definitely not happy, okay, with the sun in the reverse here. Um... And if this person has been keeping secrets from you, I feel like these secrets, this person is not going to reveal them. Someone here is methodically trying to approach you. The thing is, I feel like this person is not going to divulge on a lot of the thing, things ha that has transpired between you and your person here. So Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Leo energy with the Sun card. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Seems like this person's... So, you know, I feel like this King of Pentacles is the one that's getting over the betrayal, the hurt, the pain here. Someone here learned their lesson. And I feel like someone here has not. Uh, five of Pentacles here. So, this Queen of Swords dipped out on this Five of Pentacles here. You know, in its low vibing energy, this Queen of Swords is a very, very mean and nasty energy. So I feel like someone here was dealing with someone here who's really, really mean and nasty and had um, has a very biting tongue. Five of Pentacles. Eight of Swords in the reverse. 
seems like we have someone here that is overcoming their fears, breaking free through this mental prison that they're, they've been stuck in, okay? Um, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. And then we have the Lovers in the Reverse. We have someone here that's walking away from this relationship. Now, this could be you. This could be the other person. Um... I feel like it's you, Libra. Tell me about the sun in the reverse. We have judgment, Sagittarius energy. Someone here is looking for a reconciliation. The thing is, I feel like you're going to reject this reconciliation. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands in the reverse. So we have a queen here. That might be releasing a lot of stuff that they've been carrying around with them. Whoever this is, I feel like this is a very manipulative individual. I feel like th if this person does tell you that, you know, this person has changed, you know, they're doing this to make things better, I feel like it's a lie. Yeah, I feel like it's a lie. I don't feel like this person is doing anything. Four of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands here. Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This person is really stuck in life. I do feel like this person loves you, but I feel like this person does not know how to do the right thing here. Okay? Yeah, I just feel like this person doesn't know how to do the right thing. But it seems like someone here is coming in for a reconciliation, and I just feel like you're rejecting it, uh, Libra. Okay? So, Libra, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys.